There you go, love. Just uh, cut the wheel. Cut the wheel there a little bit more. There you go, right in. Bloody hell, mate. Look at that park job. And this from the country that brought you Mario Andrade. Then again, I guess she's doing a good job. Considering she probably had two bottles of Chianti for lunch. <laughs> Crocky. while you're abroad. I'm sure you know this already, but don't use the exchange houses. They always get a terrible rate. What you want to do is go to the nearest ATM and uh, get your cash out there, and that's where you get the best rate. But there is one little issue with it, which is they have so many bloody skimmers these days. You try to use your card and it gets skimmed off and you got to deal with your bank later, and maybe they give you money back, maybe they don't. Uh, number one rule, look for a bank, like this one. That is A, a recognisable name, and preferably from a conservative country, like this Deutsche Bank, you know, they're uh, on the up and up. And B has a little enclosed house like this that you can't get into without using a card, because the thieves can't get in and mess with the machine uh, without being on camera, so it's a little safe. Alright, so one of the funny things with all the, uh, most of the interior ATMs in Europe is you, they're usually behind a locked door when the bank's closed and you have to swipe your card to actually open the door. I, I mean, it, it doesn't actually charge your card, but I guess they want to make sure that you're doing something in there. You're not just swirling the joint. And, uh, okay. Okay, right, I had to push the button and there we go, and inside the bank. And now here we are at the ATM itself. So the first thing you want to check, well this is very important mate, is you want to go up to this piece here, you see the, uh, the point where you put your card in, and just pull on that quite forcefully, and you want to make sure that doesn't come off. The next thing you want to do is check the number pad, and just kind of put your fingers under there, let's see if I got that, got a shot. So you want to check the number pad, just put your fingers under there a little bit, see if, you can, if it's loose or anything like that. And then the next thing you want to do is check under the bottom part here to see if there's any cameras that look down on the number pad and steal your information. Uh, I'm not seeing any of that stuff there, so I think this bike looks pretty safe. Uh, there is actually one more thing to do. If you're in a third world country, sometimes they actually bribe the ATM manager to put a device inside the machine, and that device communicates via Bluetooth with your phone. And so what you want to do is open up your phone and search for Bluetooth devices and see if any uh, are available. It usually has a name like Fest or Quick or something you can connect to. That means there's a skimmer inside with nothing visible on the outside. This one's inside uh, a, little, a little room here like I showed you. Uh, plus it's a Deutsche Bank and plus we're in Europe so I don't think that's the problem. So I'm going to get my cash out now mate. All right, mate, so now I'm back outside the ATM. There were people waiting to get in after me, so I didn't want to show you the Bluetooth thing. Well, everyone's waiting, getting mad at me, saying, hey, multi and all that stuff. Well, let me show you how this works. So look for it to see if you're getting skimmed by Bluetooth. You open up your phone like that, see if we can get this stupid thing to focus here, mate. Come on, focus. No, it's not focusing. What you want to do, you open your Bluetooth settings. So you go to Bluetooth on your phone, hold down on that. Like so. And then you look for paired devices. Now you want to see available devices. Uh, so let's see if you can see that. You see that there? So we go to available devices, we go refresh. And you see if anything comes up. As we can see there, I refreshed, it says there's no, there's no Bluetooth devices available at all. There's one that popped up at the bottom. But that just has a, uh, a mech address, so nothing specific. The, uh, all the interior skimmers all have a name. It says like Fest or Quick or something like that. So this Deutsche Bank uh, IDM right here on the Straits of Rome is in fact un unripped, unjipped. So you can get your cash out and you can save your Bob Dingo dollars, mate. And one last pro ITM travel tip. If uh, you have a PayPal account, get a PayPal debit card and then transfer a few hundred dollars into your account before you leave. That way if your card does get skimmed, they don't have access to all your cash, only the few hundred that's in there. Those scammers won't know what hit it might. <laughs> <laughs>